slightly corpulent figure stands out. Thomas Brolin cost Leeds a quarter of a million pounds for every game he played during a rather unhappy spell in Yorkshire. Crystal Palace took him on initially for the cost of his bed and breakfast. Now they are paying him enough to afford his evening meal as well. He's one of five men facing former employers here and surely requires little motivation. Andy Linigan is the other former Leeds player in a Palace team deprived by injury of Lombardo, Padovano, Shipley and Warhurst. So Mark Edworthy finds himself in central midfield. Marcus Bent was signed from Brentford earlier in the month. David Hopkin and Nigel Martin are the Leeds returnees. George Graham has won his tug of war with South Africa over the services of Lucas Radaby, whose presence should stiffen midfield, but options are limited. In fact, Leeds have used fewer players than anyone else in the Premiership, just 17, while record signing Valerian Ismail, or Valley as he'd like to be called, is the 31st player to represent Palace, and that's more than any other club. Uriah Rennie is in charge today, as he was for Palace's impressive win at Elland Road back in August when it was very sunny and very warm. Palace, though, have this extraordinary record of being the only senior club in English football without a home league win this season. And I'm afraid to say that if they fail to break that duck today, they're going to set a most unwanted club record. Leeds in the half shirts, vivid colours from either side, and plenty of early boos for Thomas Brolin. And again. Doubtedly dispossessed by Hopkin. And then blocking Kelly's clearance. Radaby. At this time, only the keeper to beat. Straight through his legs. Rod Wallace scores in the Premiership for the first time in two months. On the transfer list or not, he remains a potent force. Palace down to ten men with the departure of Brolin. And they clearly lost their concentration as the Swede was still being led along the touchline. Wallace kept his and scored as he pleased. It's two. I'm sure the touch off the defender was what really defeated Kevin Miller. No sooner had Rod Wallace gone level with him as Leeds top scorer than Hasselbank goes back in front. And it came off Andy Linegan, a former Leeds player. So Palace's home form, again, is fairly woeful. Three in the box for Leeds. Wallace with the cross. Hopkin. A fraction too high to be able to keep it down. And also, it was a relatively late arrival. If there is hope for Crystal Palace. Surely in the memory of last season's FA Cup tie when Leeds were two up here inside seven minutes and ended up having to save a last-minute penalty to get a two-all draw. Roberts, Popkin, those two were teammates this time last year. Wallace, Hasselbank is... Well, he started to make his run and then he was pulled down by Dean Gordon. Well, the very least is going to be a yellow card for Dean Gordon. So if he's protesting that he shouldn't be booked, then it's not an argument he's going to win. Quarter of an hour remaining. And it's taken square to an unmarked Hopkin on the volley! A suspicion that the ball was arrowing towards him, and it still needed good reflexes. Rowley. Driven a bit more, that one. And the header was from Herredison. And this clearance from Martin could cause Palace one or two problems. Now that Smith has allowed it to bounce, it's Rodney Wallace! Probably as good a chance as the one he scored from. Just set Wallace clear. Palace are struggling to get back. It's Wallace, and it's a fine save. But still the danger isn't away. Beaten out by Miller. Matthews. Palace not helping their own cause. Edwarding. 
to the final action. And a harsh reception greets another home defeat for Crystal Palace. George Graham saw his side score twice in the opening quarter of an hour. But Crystal Palace have now set a new and very unwanted club record of 12 home league games at the end of last season and all of this without a victory. It is the worst sequence at Selhurst Park in the club's history and it threatens to drag them beneath the tidal wave of trouble at the foot of the